Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Epic Crossover. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is Epic Crossover, and I will show you uh, how to speedrun the category known as All City Chess. It's an IO category for Go Vacation, which is the game I'll be showcasing for you today. So, um, this is going to be the Switch version. I'll do a Wii version eventually. So, um,. It basically falls around the same thing, except there's just different controls for the Wii, so. We'll get back to that later, so. Anyways, uh, let's continue. Um, so, we're, so basically, timing starts when you press OK. And basically, what you want to do for the first part is just completely mash for the Y parts. Also, you don't need to do the chest in the, ex in the exact order that I'm doing. You can also do it in different order as well. You can start from location 4, you can start from location 3, which I'm doing right now, or you can start from location 2. So what we did there is just uh, investigate and uh, uh, interact with the chest as fast as possible, and then go down. Alright, so I'm going to explain exactly how we did just that, of what you just saw right there. So, what happened is, is that when you... When you go, so basically you'll go up the rail, and we'll go all the way back to where you can see this. So, basically when you start accelerating here, you're going to go up the rail on the far right, which is the one right here. You can also jump towards it as well, and then just glide all the way to it and interact with this chest. And then you will you want to do this very fastly when you exit out of it uh, by, by pressing B. And unfortunately, I messed there. So this is what you're just gonna see in real time when I like I do a certain run. And then I just zoom over here. And there's also a strategy in which you can just lean to the right with your controller, and you'll you'll get off of it sooner, and, and it'll put you more on towards the chest, which can save like a few frames or something. So if you want to go for that, you can go on ahead, but that's just the more consistent strategy. So basically, once you're done there, you'll hop on this red grind, and right one what about says 45 on the regular grind you're going to you're going you're going to get on to that part of the the like, to get on top to the UFO and that's one of the UFOs on the and it's not like the top of the UFO but it's like one of the small UFOs around it you're going to stay on top of that and you're going to hope that you you are you are going horizontally up. Uh, sorry, 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 vertical vertical velocity upwards, in which the grind, which is connected to the UFO to get up to uh, the 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 second chest, is that it takes you up, and you keep getting that horizontal velocity, and that's what I did there, and sometimes it'll just go straight down and your run dies entirely. So we go right here. And there's a thing known where we can. So basically, you get more velocity if you if you uh, just don't get off of it all. But if you also tilt right, like near the very end of your grind up, it'll end. It'll end up making your uh, end up making your velocity less, which saves around a second depending on how you perform it. And you'll get on the ground, the ground quicker instead of more airtime. Because the more airtime, the more, the more you uh, you lose time. So, so we're going to continue up here, and 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 do not go just completely like just completely sprint up the hill. Basically, when you were just about to get onto the top of the hill, completely just just stop uh, stop accelerating with the Y button or whatever button you use and if it end, end of the game is nice to you uh, one after you interact with the chest you'll bounce off and then bounce back 
which it will give you a good boost in order to perform the next trick, which I'm about to show you. So uh, this is how we get to the third chest. So you'll bounce off of here, and you want to do this. Okay, well, I'll show you exactly what you're supposed to do there, because um, you you want to bounce off of that UFO. You want to uh, you want to go off that UFO, which will uh, it's like a wall slide down, and you basically want to just keep going down with the same like it's like maximum velocity that just goes straight down. And you'll see what I mean when I do it again in a moment. So yeah, once again, this is how you normally would do the chest. And then you you gain back up off of that, and then you would do this. And just basically just try to have some hang time there. And then cut down this deep corner, and you're on to, to what's next. So it has a third chest, uh, getting towards the third chest. And this is probably the most important one as of right now, because there's a strategy known as Duck Strat, where it's the same thing like doing like a UFO fall thing, but this one saves much more time because this is more of like a, this is like a super is like is like uh, for the UFO fall, you you uh, you get off of the rail, and you don't get on another one. This one you get off of one rail and you get on the the next one. So what? What exactly is going to happen here is that you're going to, uh, around around the white rockets, you're going to start leaning right, and if you're lucky enough, which I unfortunately I wasn't, you will get straight onto uh, the, uh, the, and I will link uh, Dry Yoshi's uh, uh, representation of how you do the, the, the duck strat, and I'll do that, and I'll link that in the description of uh, how that's performed and how you can use it. So, we'll just show and we'll just show you how to get to the third chest once again. And yeah, grinds grinds have a just automatic pole, like pole that just comes towards you. So, yeah, you'll see you'll see what I mean when we get to the um the next few chests. So, once we get off of here, oh once you get around to the corner of, uh, like, if it, once, like, the corner lines up with, uh, that, with, like, uh, going right here. So, around here, you're gonna want to get off the rail, and then you'll, tr you'll completely just turn right and interact with the chest as fast as possible. And then you wanna do some fast menuing to get to your next one, and this one will be location four. You'll turn immediately right. And we'll just keep accelerating towards the wheel slider uh, uh, activity, and you'll cut through here. And mostly you'll go, you'll jump right there. Sometimes you can also uh, avoid the grind, the green grind that leads you up to the fourth chest. But most of the time, you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to go straight through it because sometimes it could save some time and also could lose some time. We don't, we're not sure of that yet. So once we get the zoom right there, you're going to hop off, and you're going to land on the waterfall thing here, and then you're going to accelerate, and there's a fourth chest, and now you gotta watch out for that cat, and then right in the middle of this grass part, you're going to accelerate all the way towards here, and you want to avoid that blue grind right there next to me. To that to to that right, and you want to avoid most of the grinds here unless it's like it's part of the route. And and when you you will just keep accelerating and this part is where you where uh, you just just keep going fast, but once you get past the the grass part, you want to slow down, like very fast. And then this way, this case, you'll land right on top of the fifth chest, and then just interact with that as fast as you possibly can. And unfortunately, I didn't do that, so I'll I'll go back up and show you how you're supposed to do it.
and we'll go back up here you'll jump right there and what you're supposed to do is mostly go past that and then accelerate downwards and then you're going to menu fast to location 2 which you can also either start with uh, go the second location like the second one you start off with or the third one it's up to you so you'll you'll navigate around what I just did there that's what that's that's where you start off with to get to the sixth chest and then about right here about right here or just or you can just do this entire root thing but I'd say about like two like a, I'd say the third one the third of these uh, brown blocks you want to go right here to the third one and you want to turn around around that corner take a sharp turn and then you're going to accelerate all the way up here and if you're high enough you'll land on there you'll land on the boost and then you want to take a sharp turn here just enough to interact with the six chest sometimes you can miss it and you want to take that sharp turn around there and what you want to do there is that this is like what I would like to do but you can also just zoom off of it and not have to use the ramp in this case this is actually kind of important um, you can also go on the little bit of the like a like an edge of the ramp which gives you like a the jump to avoid the grind like uh, and it saves like 0.5 seconds I think hopefully in which and and normally you would avoid the grind here but we're gonna land on it and then you just want to quickly get off the grind and completely just zoom here and you do not want to jump and you just want to keep accelerating and then you just interact with the last chest and that's basically a tutorial on how you would perform an all ch city chest speedrun for switch i will do a for a future we uh tutorial in the future like just uh around some time when i get back to into the wii version and uh yeah if you have any questions uh uh stop by the go vacation speedrunning discord or just leave it in the comments below and i'll uh link to you how to do the duck strat that dry yoshi has in his uh his 218 for all city chess so see you guys next time and peace